Earlier today, the Packers and Ravens had a joint practice, and afterwards, Packers cornerback Jair Alexander spoke with reporters on what he thought about the Packers defense after facing Lamar Jackson, and then gave some personal thoughts on him and Lamar Jackson. They, of course, went to Louisville together at the same time, and then both of them were drafted into the NFL in the 2018 first round of that draft. So here's some of the questions he was asked. First off, we have one reporter asked, what it was like competing versus Lamar today, and what did you see from your defense? Jair responds, Lamar is a bleep of a competitor, as we all know. It was just good to see him out there running around. I thought he tried to juke me one time. He almost got me, you know, but thank God he didn't. But um, I think our defense flew around today, and I think we look much better from last week. And it's no easy task to try to stop Lamar Jackson. Not many defenses can. And all in all, I shared earlier in my recap video, if you want to see the entire reports from the practice from different reporters who are there, you can check that video out. I put it out a, a couple hours ago. But the Packers did a, a pretty good job overall against Lamar Jackson. And, um, you know, when you hear Jair noting that he also thought the defense did well, I think that sort of shows you that the Packers have turned around a little bit from the last week when they played the Denver Broncos last Friday in the joint practice and then Sunday night in that preseason game uh, because Friday lots of the starters were playing and the Broncos seemed to get the better of the Packers and I think most people will probably assume this season going into it that the Ravens offense is going to be more dangerous than the Broncos offense will be and for whatever reason the Packers had a bad day uh, last Friday when they were playing that joint practice and it's, they seem to got it, you know to turn around a little bit today against Lamar Jackson which has to give them some kind of confidence they, of course, have a preseason game on Saturday. And then the next time they you know, play live football will be in Brazil against the Philadelphia Eagles, who also have a very good mobile quarterback in Jalen Hurts. And then he goes on to talk about you know, basically what the Packers could get a little bit better at and what they could work on. He said this, quote, We can be a lot more stickier in coverage. You know, a couple of those plays were sacks that weren't called. So, you know, we just have to go look at the film. I think if you look at the Packers' secondary, it's going to be better than last season. It's a very... I mean, there's a lot of pieces here who are the same as last year. Of course, Jair, he did deal with some injuries last year, but he came back to you know have a big play in the playoffs there against the Cowboys. But if he can stay healthy the whole year, you got Eric Stokes back from injury. He seems to have had a very, very good training camp. And I think so far, you couldn't have asked for it to go much better for Stokes, who had such a good rookie, rookie year. And then the past couple seasons, he just had an unfortunate, um, you know, couple of years with those injuries he suffered, which has just not enabled him to to be out there on the field and find any level of consistency that he found during his first season. And so far through camp, it looks like he's playing really well. So I think with him back, hopefully fully healthy the full season. You also got Keyshawn there in the slot. A few other guys who can play there, Javon Bullard, and then to have Xavier McKinney, of course, and Javon Bullard, Evan Williams there at safety. Um, I think that the secondary is going to be even better than it was last season, but that's an area Jair still thinks they can improve on. And then he was asked how important was practice knowing that the last preseason game before the season starts is Saturday. He said this, well, this practice was important because I think, um, I think it gives guys a little more confidence. You know, we had one team to face last week. We could have did better. I think we did a little better today. So we're taking strides in the right step. And I think in any kind of training camp, you're probably going to have periods where things are going really well and then maybe you have a, a bad day here or there. And in a way, I feel like it could be good to have some struggles during camp because then you can you know, learn how to respond and learn how to get your guys back to that level, back to where you're playing as you think you should. Because if, let's say, week one is the first time this Packers defense faces any kind of adversity, you, know, you haven't really had that experience of responding to it. And I think that when it comes to adversity in the season you know when you play 17 games no matter how good of a team you are you're probably going to have bad games and at least a few games even for the best teams out there in the NFL and so so much of it is you know how do you respond how do you respond not only to a bad game but also to you know a bad play a bad series uh, because I think teams that are the greatest are teams who may they have a bad game they have a bad play a bad series but they're able to respond and not allow that to sort of mess with their mind and get them off track to where they start doubting themselves. They get, they're able to get back quickly. And uh, so I think at times it can be good to 
at least deal with some adversity during training camp. And then this is a final quote from Jair. He said, when talking about Lamar Jackson, seeing the success he's had in the NFL, of course, because they seem to be uh, you know, somewhat close. But here's a quote. I mean, it's always great to see that success. I mean, you know we came in at the same time in Louisville. We did a bunch of interviews together. So it was just like watching a distant cousin or brother. But it's always good to see his success. I always joke with him and say, man, when are we going to meet in the Super Bowl, man? I think the time is coming soon. And now that would be, I mean, that would be a good Super Bowl. Ravens, Packers. I think that, I mean, that could happen sometime if the Ravens are able to get past the Chiefs. I mean, there's so many good teams in the AFC, so many good quarterbacks, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson. Um, But with the way this Packers team is moving, the, the improvements they made on defense, Jordan Love getting his money, being one of the better quarterbacks in the league to end last season. It's not that crazy to think that we could one day see a Packers versus Ravens Super Bowl. I guess, you know, when it comes down to it, you have to get somewhat lucky in a sense for for both teams to make it in the same year. Um, but that would be a good match of Jair versus Lamar Jackson. That's all I wanted to share, though. If you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.